Hi, my name is Grzegorz Kosakowski. I'm main developer behind Scala Grid project. And I will show you today a few cool things I've been working on during last week. So let's start with going to Scala Grid homepage. We'll go to samples and we'll check showcase sample. Uh, showcase is a basic application which shows you how to use various widgets from GWT to build uh, user interfaces. So you see, for example, some basic buttons. You can click on them, you can see the message being displayed. You can check source code. You can see it's all written in Scala. So you may wonder how one develops uh, applica GWT applications using Scala. So let's go to Eclipse. Let's start a showcase from Eclipse. So Grid Tools gives us a special URL that points to local uh, server. And this server loads our application code and that's some bytecode we're writing on a startup so it takes a while to load and you should note that we load both a Scala library and uh, our application code. Our application uh, is uh, more than 4000 lines of Scala code so it's pretty heavyweight and it takes a while to load. Okay so it did load and you can see that it works the same as, as before. So let's say we want to add a, another button here. So we see that the name of the view we are looking at is a CW basic button. So let's go to Eclipse and let's uh, open class named like that. We can see the logic behind buttons here. So let's say we want to add another button. We'll call it yet another button. We will add event handler that will handle click events. So since we are uh, developing Scala, we can use lambdas for that. Let's say we'll display some message here. Um, we need to add our button to to a panel. And, um, We press save and we go back to our browser and hit reload. Um, so what happens is uh, Scala compiler recompiled our application in in IDE and now it is reloading it. It doesn't start from scratch so it should be faster and you can see that it uh, that it works. So we, let's say we wanted to do some more fancy stuff here. Uh, okay, well, let's say we want to create a list of numbers here, and we'll create a string out of that list using a string method and. We'll display this uh, string. So this shows you that you can use uh, Scala collections in in GWT, and we'll see in a, in a second that those numbers are being displayed. So yes, uh, you can see it all works. It's really nice to have uh, full power of Scala collections in your GWT applications. So let's 
So we've got a bit more complicated logic and what if we wanted to debug it? Uh, let's say we want to have a breakpoint on line 81. So let's put it here. And uh, let's uh, start debugger for our application. So we get again the URL that we need to load to our browser. Now it uh, complains that um, a browser disconnected from good tools, which is expected because we terminated previous uh, instance of a server and loaded a new one with uh, debugging enabled. So it has to reload all class files again and do this uh, byte code writing. It might be possible to make it faster, but I didn't have a, a chance to look into that. So let's go to the same screen as before. And when we click, we get to Eclipse. So the breakpoint works. You can see local variable with our list. When you step, you can see our string. And when you click and resume, uh, you go back to your browser and you see your message being displayed. If you remove your breakpoint and go back to your browser and click, it just works. So that's about it. I think it's uh, really cool to develop good applications using Scala and Eclipse IDE. You should note that what I presented here is not production ready. For example, you cannot install it yet in your Eclipse. Thanks for watching.